Hey, 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 it's Kurt the Boat Doctor out here in this neat little 1450 Frontier Stavy crab. It's got uh, maybe three chambers in here. We've got one, two, three. I think it's three, or it could just be one. Could be wrong. Anyway, preflex hole. Boom, boom, that gives it the strength. And you got your reverse chine here, it gives you your stability. Uh, I don't know if this is the trailer that comes with this boat or not. It's two inch, no brakes platform the trailer wire it doesn't have uh, fenders leaf spring five lug uh, so this is something I don't, I'm not sure if they've got another trailer coming for this this here is uh, for if you put electric valve mount on it that's where you put your batteries you got rod holders here you got seating all the way around inside of here which makes it really nice <clears throat> you got pull holders here you got cup holders you got tackle trays you got a fillet table that's removable really neat boat little swim set little light uh, bait tank you got cell balers now say you don't want them cell balers because uh, if they're just sitting like this your boat could fill up with water so you're gonna have to almost tilt it all the way up because the center ones for your air chamber these bales your deck out but if say you're in the water when you water, sometimes water will get inside the boat if you're just sitting when you go they'll open up the bladders you can always put them up and clip them to here and then we got some plugs must be on the other side they go back and it got a 50 horse on it way in the back corner back there there's uh, these plugs right here so say it's a dry day whatever uh, and not a lot of rain you could plug there's one there and one over there and you could plug them then that way no water will get into this boat period uh, but if you want the cell balers to work you got to have those out and I guess you could put them in and then run and if you've got water you could actually take them out and get it up on top and then get the water out got a steering wheel got a 703 control box got the non-skid there got a 50 horse uh, inline four cylinder on the yamaha freshwater flush here's your peel where the water comes out say you're running out here all of a sudden no water's coming out of here take like a paper what do you call those little paper clips undo it poke it up in this hole and then uh, if no water comes out you pop the cowling off you pull the hose off then if water comes out you're getting it this is still plugged and then sometimes that hose in there you can stick something up in there if it doesn't come out and if it so if you don't get water coming out of here you pull that hose you don't get water coming out of there i would say hey you got a impeller water pump issue uh, also this got a, like a warning up on that dash on that gauge i think it's on that tack uh you're gonna have a little like bar blinking if you don't hear the blinking there's going to be a buzzer if you don't hear the buzzer it's going to go into a reduction gear 2000s tops rpm you're going to get so half throttle you're not going hey i'm not either don't have oil or don't have water and you change your oil right there it's got an oil filter on the inside here's your trim button right here uh th these are called freshwater flush this is a backstop this you just hook your garden hose up to uh, it is cable steer uh, do not start the motor if you just use this one by itself. I highly recommend just using the earmuffs Let's say the boat was moored or say you wanted a quick flush just hook this up Do not start but if you use the earmuffs go ahead and put them on turn the water fire the motor up let it run uh, Then when you're done, you don't need more than like I say eight to ten minutes uh, Then turn the key off then turn the water always have water going to it if you use this one Okay, these, this motor stop right here, boom, boom. Okay, down over here, a lot of people don't know about this, and I've been kind of forgetting to tell people. But right here, there's a little motor with a hole in it. There's like a flathead in there. Say you have ran out of battery juice, your motor was stuck down, and you had to get it up on the trailer. Uh, you can loosen that, lift the motor, then re-tighten it. When it's on, it stops. There you go. So you will never be strown, stranded. And it does have the speed fuel, and you got the tack. The nice old boat. No carpet very staple uh stable i have a 1450 now in the ocean unbelievable they're like a little cork okay so i'm going to be taking this bad boy and it is a portable tank which on this 50 you'll run a long time on that six gallons right there all right this is a boat doctor i'll see you on the water 